when I think about what Christmas means to me, um, I do think about gifts. The, both the types of gifts that are able to be given and to be received, some of which can be unwrapped and some that can't. Um, but the, the gift of the, of the Savior to the world. We know that he probably wasn't born on a snowy December morning, <laughs> uh, but it's an awesome time of year to be able to traditionally celebrate Christmas. Thinking about memorable Christmas events always includes family because it seems like even though it was super easy to be together as a family as I was growing up because we were on the farm and that's the only place we ever were. Um, <laughs> so we were already together. But as we grew up and moved away and had families of our own, it became the, the place to come back to. Uh, but still for sure, my, my best memory is of the year that I got to get up early and do all the chores so that my dad didn't need to get up early and do all the chores. I was finally old enough to be able to do most of that stuff. And we had 40-ish cows to milk first thing in the morning on Christmas morning. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to be able to um, to do that so that he got a break from that for, for Christmas morning. He appreciated the fact that we had taken the time to do that for him, but also that we would think of providing a gift that was in the form of hard hard work and, and service in the form of physical labor. My relationship with my Savior, I think, has grown over the course of my life, although I feel like there's probably been some highs and lows along the way. Um, I, the first thing that comes to mind is that one of the times that I served as a bishop, I had the opportunity to um, to share my feelings about the Savior as I was um, being released from that calling when our family was moving out of the state. And I remember a very specific prompting that came to me in preparation for that. I remember that I said that, that the Savior was my brother and my Savior and my friend. I think like other times when we have spiritual impressions like that, those words weren't mine. I think that was an answer to a prayer. As a bishop who loved his ward and was thinking about being able to express my testimony, I felt like that was a real revelation to me and it's been a good foundation for me looking ahead over the years. The season of Christmas needs to be all about our Savior, Jesus Christ. And with the love and the feelings of hope that come along with that, um, and, and also um, encompass the feelings of those around us who don't always feel that same sense of hope, I think it gives us an opportunity to be able to, to talk more openly about our testimony of the Savior and about um, the, the true meaning of Christmas and where it fits in our plan of happiness. Um, as I think about what I'd like the members of the stake to know, I think knowing that we can approach this time as a, as a time of that we approach with faith and not with fear. I think that's been a great theme during these last couple of years. And instead of focusing on the things that aren't going so well in the world, being able to focus on the foundation of faith that we have at Christmas time having the opportunity to be able to, um, to be aware of the people around us that are in need and having a difficult time and thinking of the ways that we can provide service to them to be able to help this be the type of um, Christmas season that it can be in a world where we focus more on faith than on fear.